Hello and welcome back to Mrs. Riley's Maths videos. Um, I'm without my Lego pieces here, I'm afraid I'm in, in school at the minute. So here's my Maths videos. And today we're looking at more Venn diagram examples. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at another example of how we draw Venn diagrams and then how we understand and interpret a Venn diagram. Okay, so how do we draw these Venn diagrams? We've got a, a set M, which is H-I-G-S-C-O-L. In fact, M is the set. M is the set of letters in the words high school. Remember, we don't repeat them. And P, can you guess what P is? Yeah, P is the set of letters in the words color. Okay, so we've got the two sets here, H-I-G, S-C-O-L for high school uh, set M and C-O-L-U-R for set P. And I'm going to draw a Venn diagram. So I draw my two circles, M and P. I'm going to look first of all and I'm going to see which elements are in common, which elements are in both sets. So I can see that C is in both sets, O is in both sets, and L is in both sets. So C, O, and L are going to go in the middle because M intersection P is equal to C, O, L. The elements that are in M and at the same time are in P are C, O, and L. The elements that are in both, both M and P are C, O, L. Now, what goes in the rest of set M? I need a, an H, an I, a G, and an S. So they go in the rest of set M. They don't belong in P, so they can't go in this circle. They just go in the other part of the circle M. And what else goes in P? I need a U and an R. So M intersection P is COL. M union P, so this is intersection, and this is union. M union P is equal to H I G. S C O L U R. Okay. Should I get them all there? H I G S C O L U R. Yeah. Okay. The elements of M are there and the elements of P are there. So, what about if you're given a Venn diagram and you have to work out some answers? So, here's we've got a Venn diagram. We've got W, this circle, and K is this circle. So, you might be asked to list the elements, list the elements of set W. So what would that be? W would be, remember our curly brackets, 5, 10, 15, remember we're separating them by a comma, 20 and 25, because we're looking at all the elements that are inside W. What about set K? Set K is equal to 20 and 25. And then it's also got 21, 22, 23, and 24. Okay, you might be asked to list the elements of K, or sorry, we'll do W first, W intersection K. So W intersection K. So what's in both W and K? So we're looking for the overlap, remember? That's the overlap of our two circles. So W intersection K will be 20 and 25. So that was one question. That was the second question. That was the third question. And then the fourth question might be, list the elements of W union K. Okay, so W union K. So that means everything joined together, everything together. So what do we have in that? We have W union K is equal to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 21, 22, 23, 24. You can see the elements of W union K there's a lot more um, elements in that. You might also have a few questions like these, just to finish up. You might be asked to say true or false. Okay, let's, for example, say five, like that. So 
something like this. So what they're asking us, is 5 an element of W? Is 5 in set W? There we are. Yes, that's true. Is 5 an element of K? Is 5 in set K? No, it's not. It's not in the overlap. So false. Is 23 an element of W union K? Is 23 in the whole lot of this, the elements joined together? Yes, it's true. Okay, that's the type of thing you might be asked.